Good morning, everyone. How are you right now? Uh, today, we're going to come up with again with another concoction. Uh, we're going to call it uh, EM fermented plant, plant extract, all right? So, in the first place, why are we fermenting? Fermentation is the process of breaking down into simpler components. The microbes do all the breaking down work, right? So what are the benefits of fermentation? One, we increase the, nutri the nutritional value of food, right? So in fact, we multiply it by two times, three times. The, uh, we, are going, we use also fermentation to preserve raw foods. That's why in Asia, fermentation is widely used. So that's why uh, now we have brought uh, the Korean natural farming, you know, uh, technology. It's because in, in Korea, they ferment a lot of food. And including in Japan, of course, especially here in the Philippines as well. Uh, we also use fermentation to detoxify, you know, tox toxic chemicals. In fact, if you buy, uh, you know, uh, vegetables or vegetables or use vegetable waste from the market, and we all know that many farmers are using chemicals, pesticides, and some of us are using them, giving them to our animals. Now, if you want to de detoxify these uh, vegetables before giving them to your animals, you can use for fermentation first. Improves digestibility, right? Because of the presence of good bacteria, uh, which are probiotic. Uh, this uh, fermented uh, material are easy to digest. And of course, can be easily absorbed by the animals. Doesn't use heat, retains en enzymes, vitamins, and nutrients. That's why, you know, the nutritional value of the food goes up. All right? So, EM fermented plant extract. You know, FPE is, use, is only used for agriculture, right? In fact, it contains bioactive substances and minerals from plant which are extracted through the process of fermentation. And we can use them to water the plants, okay, with this uh, fermentation solution. Uh, this is the ratio. For 1 ml of FPE, you can use 100 to 500 ml of water. So it could be 2 ml of FPE to 1 liter of water, right? Or 10 ml for every 1 liter of water. So you can uh, use that variation. Spray the dilution on the leaves. And this treatment enhances growth quality of product and improve immune system of plants. In fact, you can also give them to your animals. This could be your natural growth promoter. Hmm? Because you are actually getting all the growth, you know, enzymes from the plants. So these plants grow very fast. Therefore, that characteristic can be passed on to your plants and to your animals. So these are the materials. For a 20 liter bucket container, you need 14 liter or 70% of the container for fresh plants, 14 liter of water, and then 420 ml of EMAS. If you don't know how to make EMAS, you can follow the link below. And then molasses, 420 ml as well. So these are the recommended plants for FPE. Plants having Sorry, they have been disconnected. All right. So you use young shoots like, uh, you know that, uh, sweet potato vines, 
you can use the young shoots of that uh, of the vine and then uh, you can also use uh, young banana shoots all right you know when you cut them in the morning in the afternoon you have already you know they have grown already so those are the characteristics the kind of plants that we we would require and then you could you can put herbs lemongrass and legumes okay so those are the plants that we would require so these are the steps so step one mix all the liquid ingredients in another bucket so we just use need the emas and the molasses and of course the water and then step two pour the mixed liquid ingredients in the bucket containing the chopped plants materials okay you have to chop them into small pieces and then you cover it maintain an airtight condition and ferment for one to two weeks the longer the fermentation process the better keep in an area without direct sunlight so cool dark place okay so if you have a storage you store it there and then steer the mixture occasionally all right so this is how to check the quality of your fpe so depends on temperature and the kind of plant the hotter the place the shorter the fermentation process the colder the place the longer the fermentation process ph should be below four smell should be sweet sour smell okay any unpleasant smell means failure you have to discard that one color from very dark brown now to lighter brown plants in the bucket now it turned into brown color and they are now soft so after fermentation you remove the plants by filtering and keep it in an airtight container so you can use now fpe within three months all right so now the potency and you know the bioactivity of the good bacteria is still very strong Keep, again, keep the container in a dark, cool place. No direct sunlight. So the application, add to soil at a dilution rate of 1 is to 100, up to 1 to 500 dilution rate. Okay? By drenching manually or using a sprinkler or by drip irrigation methods. All right? For nursery, you need very small amount, okay? One is to 500 or one is to 1,000. It will enhance the root development and soil improvement of your young plants in the nursery. You can spray them also on leaves to crops at the dilution rate of one is to 100 or one is to 500. It will enhance the growth, the resistance to diseases, and pest and the quality of the product is improved once fpe is diluted with water it should be used within a day sorry for the noise outside so if you have any questions you can uh, leave a message in the comment section or you can uh, email me at uh, acosta organic farm at gmail.com right so if you are new to this channel I invite you to subscribe and then hit that notification bell so that now every time we have a new video, you are always updated. And don't forget to like and share as well. So that's it. I hope you're going to do it. It will really help you in your organic farming activities. Drop me an email, acostaorganicfarms at gmail.com. Thank you, friends, and enjoy the rest of your day. May God bless us all.